www.newtoboss.com. This is again Ty. This video is a part of the video tutorial series that I'm creating for uh, a ZTE ZXV10 W300 series modem rotor. Um, we got a lot of videos that we've uploaded already on NudaWorks, or you can check out nudaboss.com for some of the procedures that you might need in setting up your ZTE router. On this part, what I would want to show you is how you can disable the DHCP or routing function of your ZTE modem plus router. Bring up your Firefox or whatever web browser that you're using. Try to access your router's address 192.168.1.1. If you can't get a page that says username and password, that means that you are typing an incorrect gateway. And how you can check that and how you can configure that, we have a, uh, another tutorial for that. You just check out on the list from the description below. So right now, if you get yourself this page, username and password, just type in admin and password, just key in whatever password you have, it should log you in. And it would bring uh, up a page that says device info. So you could be sure. You just click on device info again. What we're trying to look up here is to verify the address. Again, 192.11 here. 192.168.11, the same. You got something that says DHCP server. That's your host protocol. This is the one that, fun uh, that gives this device a routing function. What it does is. Again, the, remember that the modem that you have, the ZTE ZXV10W300 series, uh, has two functions. It's not just the modem, it's not just the router. It's basically two devices combined into one. It functions as a modem, it also functions as a router. It also sends out wireless signal. Uh, there are devices in there that you got a separate modem. You configure that separately. You also got a separate router that you have to configure separately. The question now is why would you want to disable the DHCP server on this device? Probably you're actually having troubles in port forwarding. I'm not saying that there's a problem with port forwarding with this device, but there have been troubles sometimes with other people that's also asking on the YouTube channel that we have they're having troubles in port forwarding so to circumvent that you just would want to bypass this routing function of the CTE and you might want to add in a D-Link or Linksys maybe a Netgear router you're just going to disable that to make this ZTE uh, ZXV10W300 device just work as a modem okay so what you do if you go to something that says uh, advanced setup, I'm oh, sorry, Interf interface setup right here, and it's gonna give you uh, LAN. All right, so interface, you have internet, LAN, and wireless. Go to LAN right here, and this is also where you can change your IP. But here on DHCP, excuse me, that says disable enable and relay so what you do is you just um, check the, the button that says disable then completely save that again DHCP right here click on that and then just save it after you save that all the devices is connected to your rotor would lose internet alright so you would lose internet you would also lose wireless because it's not gonna send out any IP anymore it's just going to work, uh, just translate the codes uh, into different bytes working as a modem. If you want to add another router, you could do so. We have a separate tutorial for that. You can check out newtoboss.com and newtoworks on YouTube. Again, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.